Hey y'all, uh, it's February 26th, 2016. This is actually a personal letter, a video letter to Nicole Arbor. Dear Nicole Arbor, I understand that you like to get video letters to people and stuff, and you know, your videos are pretty entertaining that way. I think you're going in the right direction with that, all right? But also, um, you know, you, you already noticed there's people out there who's been hating on you, right? You try not to notice, but you noticed them, all right? And they have some suggestions for you, and I also have some suggestions for you, all right? Uh, let me get this out of the way. This video is not nearly as, as well edited as your videos, all right? I know that for a fact. Uh, I don't really have very good uh, video editing software. Obviously, you'll notice that this thing pops up in the middle. I don't have money for that, all right? And also, my computer's kind of slow and stuff, and I don't have the patience for it. I don't have money for a new computer. But I, I shoot my videos anyway. I hope that you like them. Um, check this out. Nicole Arbor. Here's some suggestions. You might not be hearing me today, but you don't remember my words, all right? Um, first off, I want to get this out of the way because I didn't ever hear no one bringing this up. Your titties, they're all up, they're shiny and they're nice and, and you know, they're, they're good. They're good titties. I'm not going to deny you of that. The reason, one of the reasons that I have not subscribed to you particularly is because your titties are all out uh, in the video. Now, I understand that, you know, I can only imagine that a lot of people have subscribed to you uh, mainly because of the titties that are all on the videos, right? Me personally, I have not subscribed just because of the titties, right? They're very distracting. Not only that, it's like I understand you have opinions and a lot of times they're pretty good opinions, right? But your titties are distracting and I don't really have lust in my heart really necessarily. Sometimes, you know, I can't help but look and stuff, uh, but that's not what I'm out for. I want to hear your opinions. All right, True, truly, don't need to see your titties. Uh, so you might want to think about coming them up, having a little bit of respect for yourself. I know that it's the cool thing to do. That's what everybody does with their titties all out. But that's just something to think about. And also, uh, I know you probably heard, you probably heard it was from several sources already, and you're trying to ignore it. But I do have to reassure you that the Elf Carnival music in your videos, it is bad. It is bad music. It's, a, it's in bad taste. You might want to think about just changing it up to some, a, a little bit better music. All right, The Elf Carnival music is not working for you. All right. Um, and on another note, on the last note, uh, I looked a little bit into, into your background, especially with the Matthew Satoro, or I don't remember exactly how it's pronounced, um, Santorino. Uh, I saw his video, and I, I'll admit that he, he's pretty damn popular, and you're almost as popular and stuff. And I saw his video about how you beat him and stuff, and then you joked about it later on and stuff. And a lot of people find it funny. A lot of people are coming from a lot of different angles, and they found it funny. Some people found it very serious. Uh, and there's a lot of anti feminists out there who are like, hey, listen, you know, if ladies can go ahead and talk about their abuse, then men should also be able to talk about their abuse and stuff. So, you know, I don't know exactly how to feel about that, but what I do want to stress to you is that you're going to, in relationships and in your lifetime, you're not going to hear me today, but you're going to remember my words. In your lifetime, you're going to experience all sorts of failure um, when it comes to relationships. And the reason for this is that you're kind of an alpha female. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to bash on uh, the empowerment of ladies, but the thing is, when it comes to relationships, it's not a good idea. You can't be an alpha female because it's going to stifle your relationship. It's going to mess up the, the genders, the, the gender roles that you're playing. All right. The, the thing is, if you're if you're going to be with a male that's going to satisfy you, that's going to fulfill you. Right. He needs to be an alpha male. And that Matt Satoro, uh, he, you know, he may very well be an alpha male, but you were trying to take that from him. All right. That's why you slap him in the face. You won't let him leave. All right. That's kind of like an alpha female thing to do. You need to check yourself on that. And I'm not saying that because like I'm intimidated by you. I don't know you. I probably will never know you. Right. But what I'm saying is this is going to bring out a, a whole bunch of failure into your life because you're messing up the gender roles, right? You're, you're being too possessive. But what I'm saying is the Bible, you may or may not have read it, but the Bible states that you, you, if you're looking for success, you need to be submissive. The female plays the submissive role. And why this is successful is because she finds a male who's fully capable and um, is worthy of being her leader. All right. If you don't find a male who's worthy of being your leader, well, then you're messing up. All right. You, you shouldn't be... Uh, in the alpha role position, all right, and that's what you're messing up. Anyways, I wish you the best of luck, Nicole Arbor. I do see you from time to time on the internet, and if you put the titties away, I'll subscribe to you. Just put the titties away and stop obsessing over things, you know, that may or may not be your business. I, I realize you're very popular. You're more popular than I'll ever be, all right? I'm giving you props. I'm not hating on you. But I, I thought, you know, man, you know, uh, I have some things that I think could help Nicole Arbor, and so th I'm going to do it, all right? So I did it. That's what this was, all right? So February the 26th. 2016.